Wow, oh my gosh. So was I worth it? Heck yeah, you were worth it. You were worth every penny. Are you sure? Guys, I gotta tell you about this new computer that I bought. Look, through the years, I've had some cheap computers, some mid-level computers, some nice computers. I mean, I've had a little bit of everything, but not ever, not once in my wildest dreams, ever, did I think that I would spend 10, you heard me, $10,000 on a computer, right? I know what you're thinking, like, is this guy crazy? 10 grand on a computer, not including the monitor? I know, I thought the same thing. So let me tell you about this computer, guys, because this thing is the coolest thing that I've ever bought in my entire life. Well, maybe not the coolest, but it's pretty damn cool. I mean, this thing has a 3990X Red Ripper processor in it. It's baller, it's unbelievable, this processor. Not only is it a 3990 Thread Ripper in it, it's got a 3090 NVIDIA graphics card, which is like top of the line. You can't get anything better than that right now. 64 gig of RAM, a two terabyte Samsung 970 Evo solid state hard drive. And to put that all together, to wrap that packaging in, we have a 1250 watt power supply. Crazy, right? And you're thinking, well, that's a little bit of an overkill for a trader. I absolutely agree. It's a little bit of overkill for a trader. I agree. But my goodness gracious, this computer has absolutely transformed my life. It's changed my life. I can't tell you how much better my life is since I bought this computer. Right? I mean, people talk about driving cheap cars, expensive cars, or driving or eating at a nice restaurant versus a you know McDonald's and just how it makes you feel. Like women talk about it all the time, right? Why do they shop at Victoria's Secrets? And not just for men, it's because of how it makes them feel. Well, this computer, oh my gosh, guys. The way this thing makes me feel, but the what it's done for my lifestyle, unbelievable. All right. I mean, if you think about it, five hundred dollar computer and eh. two thousand dollar computer and eh. $5,000 computer, we're getting there, right? Not bad, 10 grand. Wow, wow, you have not experienced anything like this in your entire life. Let me explain a little bit, all right? Guys, gamers, they idolize me now. Traders, they envy me. And women lust after me, okay? It's like nothing you've ever seen before. This is the greatest purchase I've ever made in my life. <laughs> Ten years later. Dude, I just got this badass new PC. No way, what kind? Dude, it's a CyberPower PC, it's unbelievable. Holy sh... Damn. I think she's coming over here. She's probably coming for the keys, huh? Gold digger. Gold digger. Can I help you? I heard you talking about your new PC. I love a man with a powerful PC. Do you want to go back to my place and check it out? Yeah. Lighting up the atmosphere. I saw this coming from a mile. See that guys? I bet you never thought a computer could change your life. Well, it's changed mine. But let's get serious for a second here, okay? Computers are a very big part of trading, okay? And let's be frank, 
they're not going to change your life, okay? The women don't lust after me, okay? I don't have a Ferrari because of my computer and all those other great gizmos that we talked about. The truth of the matter is I do have a pretty awesome computer, but the question really begs is, is it worth it? Was it worth spending six, $7,000 on a computer? And in a word, the answer, no. It's not worth spending that kind of money on a computer. And a lot of you out there, um, you're seeing these rigs on Google and you're looking at these monitor setups that have 25 monitors and they have a Cray supercomputer in there. NASA could probably use that computer. The government could probably use that computer. The question is, it's, it's, is it worth it? No, all that stuff's for show, guys. Honestly, it's just pure ego. Nobody needs a computer that's $10,000 for trading specifically, okay? Nobody needs 13 monitors, okay? It's all for show to make you think those people are more legitimate, they have more credibility. It doesn't give people credibility because they have more monitors or more expensive computer. What gives you credibility is your P&L, okay? That's what gives you credibility. So don't fall into all that stuff. So now the question at hand is, well, what is good enough? What kind of computer should I buy if I want to be a trader? Notice I didn't say be a good trader, just be a trader. Well, you could go spend a lot of money on a high-end computer and that would be okay. Or you could go out and buy an old school used computer. Heck, you could even use a laptop. In fact, when I travel and I travel frequently, I use this trusty old laptop here and I just get a little thin monitor to go with it and I'm good to go. Now you could do that as well. So if you wanna spend $500 on a computer, that's fine. If you wanna spend $5,000 on a computer, that's fine also. But your number one asset in trading, other than you, is having a fast internet connection. If you can get a one gigabyte connection or better, that's what you really want. I would spend the money on that before I spent the money on some high-end expensive computer. Now, if you do wanna look into getting a new computer, guys, you can do that at Fry's Electronics, you can do that at Best Buy, you can do it online, you can do it anywhere you want. There's tons of computers out there for all price brackets, okay? So if you're a, a new person who's getting into this business and maybe you're just penny pinching to get started, don't spend more than five, 600 bucks on a computer, okay? If you can get one given to you for free, great. So internet connections, number one. You don't need anything more than like an Intel Core i3 or i5 processor. Honestly, you really don't, okay? Eight to 16 gigabytes of RAM, more than enough for trading. And again, we could talk about video editing and all that stuff at a different time, but we're talking about just trading rigs here, okay? You don't really need more than two to four monitors. So to run two to four monitors, you can get a basic graphics card, but if you wanna spend a little bit of money on your rig, where, where should you spend it? I would say on the graphics card, not on the processor, not on the RAM, on the graphics card. So if you wanna get a, a decent one, like an RTX 2060, 2070, 2080, that's fine, but you don't even need that. Graphics cards can be very, very expensive. All right, my graphics card is $1,500. Is that worth it? Not really, unless you're doing hardcore gaming or hardcore video editing, okay? so i3 i5 processor is fine if you want to do an i7 or an i9 or you want to go to an amd 3950x that's fine also okay but it's not necessary okay you want to spend a little bit of money spend it on your graphics card 8 to 16 gigabytes of ram is fine a solid state hard drive is nice but it's not necessary if you want to get like a 970 evo samsung solid state that's awesome but it's not necessary. The prices of hard drives have come down quite a bit these days, okay? So it's not as expensive as it used to be. Power supply honestly really depends on how beefy of a graphics card that you're using. The point simply is, there's a computer out there for you. And don't let all these people online, you know, what I call trader porn, where they're showing all their rigs and all their, you know, computer stuff, and it's like, oh my gosh, look at this. It's all BS, okay? Any old basic computer is likely good enough for you. What makes you a good trader is you, not the computer that you use, okay? And buying some high-end computer is not gonna make you a great trader, okay? Buying a crappy computer is not gonna make you a bad trader unless it keeps crashing on it. Other than that, guys, your computer has very little impact on whether or not you're going to be a good trader or not, all right? Anything built in the last five to seven years is almost definitely good enough, okay? Now, that's a slight exaggeration, but you get where I'm going with this. $500, $1,000 is plenty to spend on a computer. And like I said, if you wanna use a laptop, that's fine too. Would I trade off your cell phone like these Robin Hood guys? No, I definitely wouldn't do that. Could you trade off a tablet? Maybe borderline. But one monitor, one laptop is fine. I recommend two or three monitors. Um, but the point simply is don't break the bank on a computer. You just don't need to. All right, so I hope you guys had a little bit of fun today. I hope you learned a little bit about computers and what you need to be a good trader. I'm Jared Wesley of Live Traders. I'll see you guys next week.